If you are here for the first time and you want to discover new knowledge that can make you smarter and understand the world better, then please don't miss this story. Make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Here is an amazing story about how a tiger came to a man's tent. A tiger will come to rest with a person, and it obviously wants something to do it. The Tiger region which is located in the south of Russia is beautiful, there are many big rivers running through these beautiful forests and everything is beautiful there. Not only will it show its magic in summer, but autumn, winter and spring are also full of surprises. For those who like wildlife, this place is simply paradise. People who lived in that area could go to the forests to gather mushrooms and all kinds of wild fruits found in those vast forests, and they could also fish from the lakes and rivers there. The only thing you can't do is admire and tease the animals there, because these ferocious predators may attack humans when they feel dangerous, or are very hungry and can't find food. That's why, all the people who go to these amazing places carry weapons and they come in groups so that they can deal with any potential danger. If you go with friends who love and respect nature, each of you will have some fun time in this magical place of your dreams. Stephen doesn't travel in groups like everyone else, and prefers to wander the taiga alone, as he finds that traveling with other people prevents him from meditating in nature, enjoying the beautiful sights, hearing the sounds, that is a unique symphony of the sounds of water, rivers, and streams, as well as the sounds of birds and other animals. He is a calm person who enjoys spending time alone in nature. He sometimes goes to the forest to set up camp, where he spends the night under the beautiful stars, admiring the night sky. Until the morning, he would wake up early, watch the sun rise, go fishing by the river, and finally return to the log cabin he built himself a few years ago. Stephen doesn't like hunting animals because he loves them and doesn't want them to get hurt. But when autumn comes, he'll be armed just in case. Stephen goes to the forest almost every day. One day, when he was walking in the forest, he saw a big animal approaching him, because he had a lot of experience with animals, so he immediately realized that the animal was a tiger, the tiger started to approach Stephen, but the man did not afraid of it, because he realizes that a tiger will not approach people unless it needs help. Thinking of this, he fell asleep. When he woke up early in the morning, he was surprised to find the same tiger standing not far from the tent. Looking at the tiger in front of him, the man was still puzzled because he didn't know why the animals approached the humans with weapons, because they were afraid that humans would hurt them, and generally stayed away. In the time since he got up, Stephen gathered all his belongings and put them in a bag, then slung the weapon on his back and walked towards the tiger, who turned and started to move forward gone. The man understood that the tiger wanted to take him to a place, show him something, and ask him for help. He decided to follow the tiger until it got where it wanted. The tiger ran for about a kilometer, and then the tiger entered the middle of a long lawn, from where it grabbed two cubs. This surprised Stephen, and he finally knew what the big tiger wanted, he definitely wanted Stephen to help him look after the newborn tiger. Strangely, Stephen found another tiger lying on the ground, and when he looked at it, he realized it was a female and the mother of the cubs. At first, he didn't understand what kind of help the tiger was asking him for. Especially under the premise that tiger cubs are protected by their mothers. But when he approached the tiger, he found that the tiger was breathing very hard and it was dying. Although the man tried to help her, the tigress died instantly. The tiger father also discovered that the tiger mother could no longer take care of her cubs, nor could she provide them with milk. So the tiger father began to look for a way to save his cubs. Fortunately, Stephen was in the forest, but there was still no way to help the tigress. Stephen felt very sad because he couldn't save the tiger, but he insisted on helping the cubs, which he took in his hands and brought them home. The tiger didn't try to catch up with Stephen, because it noticed that Stephen was an honest and kind person, and showed a strong desire to help his family. As soon as Stephen got home, he went to the veterinarian in the city closest to the village where he lived. The veterinarian examined them, gave them injections, prescribed medicine and made sure Stephen could take care of them and give them their medicines on time, nursed to restore their vitality and strength. The man took care of the cubs exactly as the doctor asked him to, 
following the doctor's instructions. As the days passed, the condition of the two cubs began to improve as they were able to stand up and walk around the house. The man had been watching the tigers and waiting for them to walk independently and regain their strength so they could be returned to their father, who was still anxiously awaiting his cubs in the woods. When zoo officials heard that Stephen was raising tiger cubs at home, they came to Stephen's house and offered to hand them over to raise in the park and pay the man a large sum of money. But the man completely rejected the request and asked them to leave and not to return to their home. Stephen never thought of betraying the tiger who trusted him so much that he could bring the child home. After more than a month, the cubs grew bigger and stronger, and Stephen noticed that they were ready to live alone in the wild. So he took them into the forest, and he tried to find the father of the cubs, and thus his mission was over. But he couldn't find the tiger father, so he hugged the two tigers and went back to his house very happily. Afterwards, Stephen kept up his hobby and went on to the place where he saw the tiger for the first time, because he found a suitable place for camping, which was quiet and beautiful. Stephen didn't think he would see the tigers again because they had families of their own. A few years passed and Stephen went to a spot in the woods to pitch his tent and start preparing food. The man notices that the place has changed a bit, because there are traces of a strange animal that has dug a set of pits there, which makes him a little nervous. While Stephen was gathering firewood not far from the tent, a huge bear suddenly appeared and started screaming before quickly attacking him. He accidentally left his weapon in the tent, so when the bear attacked him, he was in trouble. Stephen dropped his bundle of faggots and ran away from the bear, but the bear caught up with him, struck him on the back with its claws, and threw him to the ground. But suddenly two big tigers appeared behind him, attacked the bear, and then punched him hard, forcing him to move away from Stephen. The bear tried to attack Stephen again, but the tiger knocked it to the ground and clawed at him, forcing him to flee. While Stephen rushed to his tent, and on his return took his weapon, he found two tigers lying on the ground. As he approached them, he made sure they were two tigers he had rescued years earlier. They paid him back in their own way, saving his life as they had done all those years ago.